there, buddy. Nice and saucy. Extra crispy biscuits. What do you say we gain a little altitude and maybe I'll be able to spot somewhere that this layer is not. All right, I'm venturing over this way. You know, sometimes things look better from the air than they do on the ground, but this looks pretty thick to me in all directions. There might be a little hole here, but I don't know. We're gonna find out today. You can see the Philadelphia skyline off my left there. It looks cool. Ew! A little bit chilly up here. I got my light jacket and my medium gloves on. So it's a little bit chilly. It ain't no thing though. So it looks like I'm just about at the base of the ceiling here. Um, there's a little bit of bright light over there. I'm headed that way to see if there's any possibility of that being a hole. It's beautiful nonetheless up here. Bad news is, at this altitude, the temperature has dropped significantly and I'm freezing already. All right, well I found a hole and as I turn this way, I see another bit of blue sky. Interesting. I'm gonna hang out around here for a little bit and see if either one of these holes open up a little bit bigger. I mean, this is for sure opening up. Yeah, let's take a gander. Woo! Oh my God, dude. That is freaking beautiful. Oh, the epitome. That is beautiful. I got my nice big hole down below me. My God, dude. Is that not the most beautiful thing in the world? If that's not, I don't know what is. Woo! Man, that is sick. This is one of the most magical things I've experienced in all my time flying a paramotor. Is getting above fog or above clouds. There's no other experience, even being in an airplane above clouds or fog. I've done that before, and that's cool, but there's nothing like the immersion of being in a paramotor up here. Just insane. Yeah, buddy. I'm just keeping myself right above this hole that's below me. I can still see the ground. I've got clearance uh, above the clouds and horizontally. So that's rad. I think it's about time I want to drop down and start heading back to the park because I'm freaking cold. All right, I just dropped down below that layer. The difference from down below and up there, crazy, it's a world of difference. I'll tell you what, my hands are freezing. Down on the ground, the temperature's bearable. It's probably mid 40s. Up at this altitude though, it's probably into the 30s. All right, I got my trims out. I'm just gonna cruise back to the park. It should be coming up on sunset soon. Should be able to see the sun drop below the lair. And then uh, I'll probably just cruise around the park a little bit, coming for landing soon because I'm cold. Nearly back to the park. I'm just gliding it in. Trims out. It looks like it's actually continuing to break up in some more spots out here. So as far as the cloud clearances, it's 2,000 feet horizontal. And what I use as a reference, the uh, runway at the airport is 2,500 feet approximately. So if you think that distance horizontally is what you need, that's a good reference point. The wind has picked up a bit on the ground. Maybe I'll come in for a quick landing and get some cardio warm myself up. Don't hit the Porter John. That'd be embarrassing. Yeah. That was smooth. My legs feel cold though. <laughs> it's like running on noodles. The sky is just lighting up now with color. The wind for sure picked up, and I feel like it's blowing rotor off of this hill. It's a little bit turbulent right over the park here. That is beautiful over there. 
in the winter time when there's no leaves on the trees with the right sunset that's bright orange it makes the hills look this weird shade of purple got the engine shut off i'm just gonna go out to five right now damn that is beautiful i want to stay up longer but i've gotten to shivering so it's time to come down that is beautiful question is how should i land without hitting the freaking fence that sun's gonna pop through in just a second i can tell it's already hitting the ground and it's still not really to me yet it's beautiful look at it hit those trees it's like fuchsia or something there's the sun poking through don't stare at the sun then everywhere I look there's little dots I mean you guys can stare at the sun you're looking on a uh, computer monitor I definitely looked at the sun too long my depth perception is all freaking wonky now what the hell why did it get so windy Yeah.